Children of teen parents, what was your life like growing up? How is your relationship with your parents now? My mum and dad were 16 and 18 when I was born. My mum came from an abusive home and my dad from a happy home. However shortly before I was born lost his dad and shortly after I was born lost his mum. We had no money. No holidays and struggled to make it through every month but I can say hand on heart that I was loved with everything they had to give. And that meant I had an extremely happy childhood and I was raised to respect people and work hard. Now age 24. We are the best of friends. I talk to both of them about everything. And finally after 28 years together. Mum and dad are getting married next month. My mother-in-law was 17 when she had my husband. Dad wasn't around. They were dirt poor but my husband never noticed. She still made sure he could play all the sports he wanted and all the cool clothes he wanted. She always worked two jobs sometimes three but still made plenty of time for him. No vacations to Disney. They went camping and fishing, cheap to free things like that. Husband grew up to be the best man I know. Mother-in-law and husband are very close. We're over there at least twice a week. I had one teen parent. The other was a lot older. The teen parent has said I got her life together. And she wouldn't have made it to where she is now without me. We are very close now. Even though we don't live in the same country. I was treated like a friend. I had to witness relationship fails. I can see how much they have changed grown from teen to adult. I felt like I was born at the wrong time when I'm around my extended family. I was planned. And I wish I wasn't. It and cheat. I grew up poor. Like stupid poor. Like I never had new clothes. Slept on a pile of blankets. My house was run down with no drywall. When most kids get a car or at least a license for their 16th birthday. I got a plastic tub and a goodwill belt. I thought that it was really hard to be middle class and it wasn't really attainable. Turns out my parents were just cheat at being responsible. Now that they're older. My dad is a sad alcoholic and my mom is a narcissist who I keep in contact with but with boundaries. My parents were 19. With my mom just graduating and my dad had dropped out in 10th grade. Growing up they worked so hard to make sure we, being my 7 siblings but they are split up so one of them is my full sister, got all that we needed. My dad worked days and nights trying to start a construction company and my mom worked full time while going to college. So now 20 years later my dad is business owner and my mom is one of the top people at an insurance company from working there since I was born. Due to both of them being so hard working and responsible I was privileged with having a stable home. I wouldn't have wanted to have any other parents. From them being so young I have a really close relationship with both of them and they feel more like friends than anything. It is a little weird though because my dad looks really young and he has 5 kids with the youngest being a 2 year old, and I'm only 19. So when we go to the store and I'm holding my brother people think we are dating and sometimes say things like you better ask your mommy if that's okay. Edit. Put wrong number of siblings. Oops. I was born when my mother was still 17 and my dad had just turned 18. My parents ended up divorcing when I was 5 years old and they both remarried and had other kids but I was an only child until I was roughly 11 years old. Growing up for me was way different than it was for any of my siblings. Not just because of the divorced parents thing but my parents were so young. I remember being 6-8 and my parents being heavily into the popular culture of the time. This was really cool to experience being a kid in the 80s and having my dad into Atari and Nintendo right along with me or my mom being into the music of the time just like any other 22-23 year old. My relationship with my parents is great. I definitely have more in common with my dad than I do with my mom but overall I've never had a lot of issues with them and now as a guy in my 30s I feel closer to them than any of my other siblings because they're still in their late teens early 20s. My parents got pregnant with me at 16. They had cheaty parents who abandoned them. They got married as soon as they were legally permitted to do so. They faced a lot of scorn from one set of righteous grandparents and insistence on an abortion from the other set. My childhood was difficult. My parents weren't ready to be parents. I know they loved me. 
but I was abused by a neighbor from 4-6 years old. I was a little soldier and suffered a soldier's punishment when I didn't obey SGT. Dad. My dad joined the army to provide for me. But. It just wasn't a good childhood. Edit. I'm actually really close to my parents now. We were all in college together. My mom and dad both have great jobs. And so do I. We have come a long way from being dirt poor. Uneducated soldiers. We have good retirements. Take vacations a few times a year together. And have family dinner every Sunday. My dad has a rosy outlook of poverty. Near abusive start as a family. My mom is apologetic and unable to really talk about it. I'm overcome with resentment once every few years. But I work through it with a mental health professional. Happy ending to a tragic start. My mother was 14 when she was pregnant with me. 15 when she had me. She had to drop out of university because of me but the cliche just about ends there. She immigrated to the US where even though she couldn't study medicine like she had in Nicaragua she was able to study respiratory therapy while she also worked go maintain us while my aunt babysat me. We ended up very prosperous and now I am months away from my ass medical license. My parents sucked at parenting. They had me at 18. I spent a lot of time with other family members and I lived with my grandparents for a long time. I eventually moved out in high school to live on my own and moved away for college. It wasn't until my grandparents passed away and I graduated college that I started talking to them more and now we spend time together every few weeks. It was almost like we all acted the same age. They weren't very rational like other parents. And it seemed dramatic. At other times. They wanted to be my friend instead of a parent. This just caused weird trust issues like they were trying to bait me into telling them stuff about my life and then they would use it against me later. It always felt like they were competing with me too, when I got good grades. Got into colleges. Graduated. ETC. There was always some animosity about how it was my fault they didn't get those same things at the same point in their life. In a weird way. It made me a lot more independent because I couldn't rely on them for much. We also didn't have a lot of money and they worked odd jobs hours. After college I started making more than them and got an ice house. Got engaged. ETC. So even now it's still a little weird sometimes. Friend of mine had a baby at 16. The daughter is now 13 and is the most well adjusted. Best mannered and fun kid I've ever met. They have an incredible relationship. Stop rewatching Gilmore Girls. Man. It's over. I can honestly say that I've only watched one episode of Gilmore Girls because my wife had it on and it's the only regret I have in my life. I feel very lucky that things worked out well for my parents. Married at 18. Babies at 19. 4 kids before 25. 30 years later they are still together and still very in love. Thief had many ups and downs of course. My relationship with them is great. They work their asses off to give us a good life. Moving from the trailer park eventually to for bedroom. You couldn't necessarily expect all these great things from couples of any age but they made it happen because they work well as a team and they made our family into a team. My mom had me at 16. My dad was 20. They married once my mom was 18. He joined the navy and my mom went to nursing school. They had two more kids. I feel like I'm in the minority here. But my life was fine. We moved a lot due to being a military family and even within the same cities. Because my parents would move us to better areas as they could afford to. By the time I started college they were doing really well. So my younger siblings have a lot more than I did at their age. My relationship with them is fine. They live one town away so I see them pretty often. 16 years later and she still acts like a ducking child. Woman. You're 33. Not 17. Act like it. Get your degree. 16 years of on-off schooling. Never finished. Clean your ducking room. Keep trash out of the goddamn sink. And stop ducking complaining about being a parent. All four kids were your fault. Not ours. TL. DR. My mom's a ducking baby. 
Mother was 17 when she had me. The father was, I believe, around 25 or 26 at that time. Anyway. It was a mixed bag. On the one hand. Mother worked a lot to pay the bills. And so I didn't really see her all that often. On the other. When we were together. She had boundless energy and enthusiasm for the things we did. It wasn't enough to go to the park, we had to walk all over the park. It wasn't enough to play tennis, popular at that time, it was tennis for 6 hours in the blazing sun. She was so very passionate about everything from the TV shows we watched, MASH and V, to the games we played. She always made me feel like, whatever else was going on in her life, I was the most important part of it. I'm 38 now. And I live about 50 feet from her. Wouldn't change it for anything. Mom had me at 17. Dad was 4 dash 5 years older. Had my bro at 21 too. I'm 26 now. Mom became a responsible parent. I have always had health insurance and one of my parents always had a second job. I have always lived a pretty good life. Always lived in a nice part of town. Couldn't participate in activities that had Saturday practices because they worked. Had a lot of babysitters growing up too. My parents did divorce at some point and then got back together a couple years later. I graduated from college in 4 years. Mom recently graduated too. Bro is still working on it. It's doable if you want to. Not everyone wants to or can at the time. But my parents did it. Mom 17 dad 19. My mum was a great parent. She's very smart and kept the household together. She was the eldest of seven so she was used to looking after babies. I had the youngest parents in my class which was quite cool. My dad wasn't particularly mature though. It took him until his 30s. Like many others. We had very little money but they did their best. I turned out okay. They did their best to get me an education. They're grandparents now and they're the best grandparents ever. I'd say better grandparents than parents. My husband was 18 when his son was born. The biomum was a useless piece of sheet who was on Drew Gus. Never worked a day in her life. In and out of jail. ETC. Who basically abandoned her son. Son has major abandonment issues as a result. Husband did his very best to raise son as best he could. He went back to school and got his diploma after son was born. And always worked hard to provide for son and daughter when she was born a few years later. Different mom. Son and husband are close. But husband tends to treat his kids more like budders instead of their parent at times. Which causes issues. But husband has truly done the best he could and has always worked hard to provide for his kids. And I know they see and appreciate it. My mom had me at 18. My sister at 19. And my brother at 22. My dad was 18 when I was conceived and soon joined the military. So basically my mom was a single mom of 3 before 25. They divorced shortly after he got out and today we have a rocky relationship. I haven't spoken to him in 2 years and my mom and I are very close because for a long time we grew up together. But because she didn't really have that wild and crazy 20s phase. She's doing a lot of that now in her mid 30s. Which can be frustrating at times. But then there's the guilt. I feel guilty often because I feel like I robbed her of typical experiences. For example. When my college acceptances started coming in the mail. I hid them before she could see them so that she wouldn't feel bad because that's an experience she never got to have. Sorry for the wall of text. TL. Doctor I'm fine and I love my mom more than anything in the world. My mom was 17. My bio dad was somewhere in his 20s. My mom left my bio dad because he was abusive. Her parents took us in and ended up getting custody of me. My dad would send me stuff for my birthday and the holidays and my mom I wouldn't see very often. She got really into meth and heroin and so every time I saw her she was high. She had some crazy ducked up boyfriends too. I'm 24 now and I just spent a few hours with her. She was sober and that was a first for us. Oh I can answer this one. I was adopted in family. 
So biologically my adopted mom is my cousin? I think. It's weird. I never talked to my bio mom much outside of family gatherings and my adoptive family was always pretty rude towards her. They never actually told me I was adopted. I found out through a sketchy series of online messages. Haven't told anyone in the family I know outside of my adoptive family. I don't particularly want to be in the center of that it storm. They were too young to realize how badly they were ducking up. They would have awful fights in front of us. My dad would throw things. Punch things. Break mirrors. My mom never left him. She worked two jobs and he worked construction to support three kids. My sister is four years older than me my brother is two years younger. I was always really neglected being in the middle. Now I have a personality disorder because of it. I think they tried their best. They didn't know any better I guess. They were young and in love. Which lead to very passionate ABD heated arguments. I have a good relationship with both of them. But I'll forever be ducked up from my upbringing. My mom was 19 when she had me and I always had incredible respect for her. Not only did she raise my sister and I without a ton of help from my dad but also worked nights and got her LPN degree. After that she continued on and got her RN meanwhile dealing with two teenagers at home. Not that I am a father myself I can't believe she managed to do it. My mom had me right out of high school at 18. My dad passed away when I was young so she raised my two younger sisters and I for majority of our lives. She worked incredibly hard to support us and make sure we had what we needed and wanted. She was a great parent and I'm glad I grew up the way I did because I value hard work now that I'm older. Both of my parents were 19 when I was born. They were married shortly before I was born. But separated within months of my birth. My life has been interesting to say the least. But I wouldn't change one second of it. My mother and I don't have a relationship. I cut ties with her when I was 17. She was your typical narcissistic drug addict. Everything bad happened to her not because of her. She holds no accountability for her actions and never will. She was often emotionally and physically abusive. Growing up. She would constantly promise things would be different that she would be different. But to no surprise. They never were. My life has been almost 100% less stressful since I realized I don't owe her anything. I don't have to put up with her bullshit. She can't guilt me into loving her. My dad. On the other hand. Is my best friend and my hero. Even though he was young. He worked hard to make sure we not only had the basic necessities of life but also amazing adventures that have turned into my fondest memories. He always took time to be a great dad. No matter how tired he was. I'm not saying he was perfect or things were always easy. I remember going to McDonald's and being so poor. He would order a cheeseburger. Eat part of the bun. And let me have the other bun and burger part. One of the things I respect most about my dad is that whenever he made a mistake. He owned up to it and apologized. I've got a pretty great life now. I'm proud of the person I've become. I'm financially sound. I'm married to my a wonderful man. And I'm currently expecting my first child in 3 weeks. Of course. I'm nervous. But I know that if I'm just half of the parent my dad has been. Continues to be. That my kid will have a kick as life. I'll never stop being thankful for my teen dad. Edit. Wording. I'm not married to my dad yasik freaks. I am a bit different. My dad was 17 and my mom was 36 when I was born. She was married to someone else and tried to pass it off to her husband but I ended up having a full head of red hair when I was born and her husband was Greek. So yeah. She ended up cutting all ties with my father and me and they eventually moved out of state somewhere. To this day. That is all I know of her. My daughter does not know who her real grammar is and that makes me a bit sad at times. My father did his level best to raise me and I recognize that it must have been really difficult at first. As I got older things became a bit easier for him because he met someone and they married when I was 8 years old. She's a wonderful woman and has never been my stepmother. But always mom. Over the years. My dad and I have grown apart a little bit. 
He has a drinking problem that occasionally takes the form of him telling sordid tales of his and my past to my younger daughter and I really don't like it. But by far the biggest hurdle we've ever had to get over was how he would beat the living sheet out of me with a set of jumper cables whenever he grew angry with me. I refuse to do that with my child and he claims that I coddle her because of it. I disagree and it causes us endless discussion at holiday dinners and other extended family gatherings. Honestly? A bit hard but it made me appreciate the little things in life. My mom was 15 when she had me and my biological dad was 14. He left at the very beginning. My dad now joined in on the picture when he was 16 and told his family and everyone that I was his from the start. There were ups and downs. Infidelity. Money trouble. Spousal abuse. ETC. By the time my mom was 25. She had me and two other siblings. Along with her sisters two kids since she couldn't keep her boyfriend's hands off them. I watched them grow as parents and human beings. They tried so hard to give us the best. My siblings and I didn't have everything we wanted but we learned to be patient and that to really get anywhere in life. You had to work for it. My parents went to school. Worked full time jobs at Walmart at a sheet wage. And came home to take care of 5 kids. I'm surprised they didn't die from stress. I'm 21 now and my mom and dad are 37 and 39. I like that they're close in age to me. Definitely feel like they can relate to me a bit better since they're so young. Also. They both worked up to really well paying jobs so with all the kids out of the nest. They have the time. Money. And energy to do what they want. Comma I'm really proud of them. Reading other stories surprised me. My mom had me when she was almost 17 and my father 22. They were poor and had hard times but they didn't gave up and raised me well. I'm 24 now and my parents are doing very well because my father worked hard and raised a good business and it became well paid. My relationship with them was always strong and it will always be no matter what. I don't care that they made me while they were young. I'm happy to have young parents. My parents had me when they were both 18. For a few years after I was born. My mom was the one working a steady job and providing me with what I needed. My dad ran the streets heavy. Sold drew gus. And got locked up while I was a toddler. My parents had another kid at 20 stroke 21. My sister. Which made me dad turn his life around. Four years after. They worked decent jobs. But the relationship was abusive and my household became toxic. Eventually they split when I was 14. Which contributed to my ongoing battle with major depression. Without my dad around. My mom made terrible choices. Got involved with a drug dealer. And didn't at all support me during my high school years. And turning to my dad was never really an option because I have a horrid relationship with him. I have virtually no memories of spending time with him as a kid. And we never quite became close during my preteen years either. So. To sum it up. I hate both of my parents. Their parental failures and bad life decisions have ruined my life. Jeopardized my future. And left me with crippling depression. Most days. I wish they had not had me at all. If they hadn't. Maybe things could have worked out differently for them. Maybe my mother would have seriously pursued college. So. To any current teens out there reading this, please. Please. Please be cautious and careful with six. If you so choose to be sexually active. You could be bringing a child into this world that you are not ready to properly take care of. And trust me, that child will be at risk of getting damaged for life. Bio mom was 18. 16 when she had my half brother. She didn't know how to take care of us and abandoned me for months. My bio dad. As far as I know a couple years older than her and a drug dealer. Got the FS involved. They took me away and set me up with a family for adoption. I don't remember anything from when she still had me, or when she had abandoned me. I just know she had no idea what the duck she was doing and consistently put us in dangerous situations. She had the opportunity to get me back before I was adopted but never showed up for the meetings. That was 22 years ago. I was raised by an amazing family. 
and have nothing to do with my biological family now. Army brat when I was a toddler. Mother had me at 20. My parents were high school sweethearts that turned sour a little while after. Dad was not in the picture and my mother struggled to get me and my sister everything we needed. My grandparents raised us during the afternoons while my mother went to college at night. I raised myself while my younger sister was more favored by my grandparents. I never really took in my Hispanic culture making me the black sheep. Childhood was adventurous and filled with competitive gaming. Favorite at guns are dual clan hookers woot woot, skateboarder most of the weekend and be student during my schooling days. All in all my mother single handedly gave us all that she could and that was amazing of her. Love you blue. Ha.